I pushed a button, Max, and the button worked. I'm happy about that. Welcome, hello, hello, hello. We are not muted. We are, in fact, turned on and set up and ready to roll. And here we are with show 319. And the Tobias the Adequate Non-Commute Semi-Regular Friday live stream shows. Well, here I am again in the room known as Away in the house known as Ororoki in the... Uh, Undisclosed location in San Antonio, Texas. What is going on? Well, next week, not this week, but next week, is the Kerrville Renaissance Festival, and I will be doing shows out there. I don't know when they are. I'm pretty sure they're at Kerrville. Aside from that, I have no idea. Um, so we'll see. Next three weeks. So the last two weekends in January and the first weekend in February. And uh, we will have some fun with that. What else is going on in the world? Well... Oh, it's about to get really stupidly cold. So stupidly cold, in fact, that I think the date thingy, once again, has decided to be stupid. It's kind of eating the four here. Um, I have no idea why that is, and I really haven't been motivated enough to go look. But, you know, hey, there we are. So, <clears throat> I'm getting a lot more bookings than I thought I was going to get um, between New Braunfels Renaissance Fair being a thing, Kerrville being a thing, I just got my, I just signed my contract for the last four weekends of Sherwood. I'm getting a lot of performance gigs here. I was going to wrap up the whole uh, performing things. Good morning, Teppo. Uh, it is morning where Teppo is. It is tomorrow where Teppo is. He lives in the future. It's true. Um, but uh, apparently not. Apparently there's more. I have two shows at the North Texas Irish Festival on the Urchin Street stage at the beginning of March, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So I kind of looking at the logistical stuff, a little like, mm, well, okay, I'm not sure. I've never done this gig before, so we'll see how that goes. And we will start, as is often the case, with a song that will get punched in the face at the North Texas Irish Festival. You got it. As I was a walking on Hill Kenny Mountain, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. First they drew me pistol and then produced me rapier, saying, Give me all your gold, cause I'm a big golden retriever. With a boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka. I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words to whiskey in the dark. Oh, come on. 
Welcome K. It was many years ago when I first heard this song perform it. But somewhere in my memory, the lyrics got distorted. It happens. It takes a half an hour, but it never seems to bore us. Cause no one's listening to the words, we're waiting for the chorus. With a boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka. I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words to whiskey in the jar. And now, genuine Irish nonsense. Fiddly idy dee 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 doo 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 Skiddly up up dee up ski bra up I cannot read my writing. And they got fixed. All the all the all the doo ra doo ra doo ra doo ra. Skiddly dee 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 dee. Fiddly dee 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 dee. Ski da ba ga 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 ga. With a boom chaka laka laka boom chaka laka. I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words to whiskey in the jar. Yeah, I'd never thought I'd have the time to give the song its glory. Cause it takes a half a week to tell a proper Irish story. It takes a half an hour, but it never seems to bore us. Cause no one's listening to the words, we're waiting on the chorus. Here it comes again! With a boom chaka laka laka boom chaka laka. I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words. So whiskey in the door. With a boom chaka laka laka boom chaka laka. I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words. To whiskey in the jar. Hey, and we're underway. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears, or just listen with them, because I don't want to have to try to mail them back to you. That would just be weird. Uh, we are here. We are here once again with yet another one of these things. I am going to be very interested to see how the North Texas Irish Official Festival all shakes out. Um, I'll be performing on the 2nd and the 3rd, um, and it'll be at Fair Park in Dallas, Texas. And I have a hotel room, and I have no idea of any other part of the logistics involved. So uh, I'm going to overpack and overprepare, and if I don't use half the stuff that I bring, well, that's par for the course. <laughs> The next song I'm gonna do, friends, is going to be a brand new song. I had an idea. I kept the idea floating around in my head for a few days, and I sat down today, because I'm here in this house, and I wrote it. And I played it. And uh, I kind of dig it. Um, it is part of what will become the <clears throat> Big Nerd Collection. Uh, there are certain songs that are just Big Nerd Collection songs. Uh, some of them you already know. Uh, Useless Magic Sword is one of them. Kaiju Coffee is one of them. Um, Lucky Dice Blues is one. I don't play that too often because I'm not 100% comfortable with it. And it doesn't really have a bouncy sing-along chorus, which an awful lot of my stuff does. So this one <clears throat> is uh, brand new. And I've played it about three times all the way through. So we'll see. Uh, see what happens with this one. I gotta remember what it was that I was doing when I played it. I'm also keeping an ear out because I'm listening to see when uh, my lovely wife gets home. Because she's she's not home yet. Mind you, traffic is dumb and the weather is going to become very stupid out here in a very short period of time. Let me see here. <laughs> I think that's right. We're going to see. This song may go through about four or five strumming patterns as I get it sorted out, but it is called Save versus Awkward. This is not a love song. This is not even a like song. This is more a I hope they don't run screaming from me song. <laughs> I was minding my own business, just walking down the street. Saw somebody I'd seen before. I think they're just neat. I tried to muster the courage to go and say hello. I'm gonna do it today. I hope I don't miss my saving throw. Say versus awkward. My night has just begun. Say versus awkward. I hope I don't roll a one. I'm 
might not have a chance. But this ain't high school and I'm not asking for a dance. I'm just gonna walk on over there. Try not to be a jerk. Let's practice before I do it. Hello! Yeah! That'll probably work, say versus awkward. My night has just begun, say versus awkward. I hope it don't roll one. Does it have a solo in it? Maybe. If someone was there to do a solo. Upon me, we're just about to pass. Time to make that move. I don't know how long this will last. Stop trying to slack myself up. They get ready to go. I wonder if abject terror might improve my save and throw. Say versus awkward. My night has just begun. Say versus awkward. I hope I don't roll a one. Say versus awkward. My night has just begun, say versus awkward. Here we go. So that's the new song. Um, I think I've got the strumming pattern. Uh, probably that's the literally the first time I've played that in front of anybody who's listening, including the according to that thing up there, eight people that are currently listening and watching right now. Hey, how how are you? I am fine. We are all fine here. How are you? We're we're all fine here. No, don't send down a squad. Um, I think social awkwardness is something that just about everybody can and probably does identify with at one time or another. My personal favorite, I enjoy, I actually enjoy, you know, with people I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! This is me, yes. Um, as those of you who know me in person know, I will occasionally walk up and just go, Hi! Because... After that, everything else sounds smooth and cool. <laughs> I like it. We'll play along with, around with it more. Um, I will have a chance to play this at both Kerrville and Sherwood and North Texas Irish Festival. I like it. I like the chord structure. It's not one that I do a whole lot. I don't do a lot of G, A, C. Um, it's a song that holds up under its own weight, and it does have a, a bit of a chord that everyone can kind of sing along to, whether or not they know anything else other anything else about it. And there's a certain part of me that very much wants to have that, where people can just grab hold of a bit of a song and just kind of do that bit. Um, it's audience participation without... Resorting to threats. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Here we are. Um, again, there's a part of my ear that's listening for downstairs the door to open up and the the system to tell us the door is open. Um, in the event that I suddenly cut off the show, that means something has gone potentially gone very sideways. I don't expect that to happen, but, you know, we're going to see. Um, the next song I'm going to do is another filk. I love me some filks, as you know. I mean, you've listened to me play these things for a while now. And most of the time when I'm playing a filk song, it's probably going to be uh, Renaissance Minstrel because that's one that, that, that flows very well. It's Regardless of the fact that it's like me versus the lick, you know, the, uh, I've played that dozens of times now. So the next, this one is a song, Me versus a Lick. Now I'm going to have to just pick with my thumb. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to, reminding myself to just use the thumb and not try to do the clever finger picky thing, because I'm not used to doing the clever finger picky thing for this next song, which is based off of, um, Nirvana's cover of a David Bowie song. And it's a much more relaxed and quiet song than the last two. But that's okay, because we're going to blow the doors off the room with the final one. Uh, 
I met him at the fair. We spoke of where and when, although he was not there. He comped me as a friend, which came as some surprise. My act never caught his eye. I thought he'd driven home a long, long time ago. Oh no, not me. I never change my clothes. Your face, face, with the man who lives at fair. I laughed and shook his hand I drank from his own glass Went back to my homeland Then I knew what I should have asked I gazed a gazeless stare At all the folks out there We should have driven home Our clothes, your face, the face with the folks who live at fair. Oh no, not me. I never change my clothes, your face, the face with the man who lives. Lives at fair. I do love that song. That's another one of those songs that you can troll for eardrums with. Um, anytime I play a filk, I like to look around because when I'm playing and I'm amplified, I have a radius effect. And I like to see the people walking by suddenly realize that I'm playing something. That, those aren't the regular words. I have a great deal of fun with that. My God, is this really going on that quickly? Well, it might be. I want to thank everybody who's come out today. I mean, I'm I'm seeing more people here, which is nice. It really is. Well, any number above zero makes me feel good about myself, to be honest with you. Um, like many performers, I have a, a very delicate and fragile ego. And uh, y'all basically justifying my continuing to do this is always an awesome thing in my books. Um... What else is going on here? Well, like I said, I'm going to be doing the last four weekends of Sherwood this year. And the last four weekends in Sherwood this year are, in fact, going to be the last weekend in April, in March, because there's actually five weekends in March this year. It's with the leap year. I don't think it actually has anything to do with it, but there's five weekends in March this year. And I'll be doing the last weekend in March, and then the first three weekends in April. And then the last weekend in April, Sherwood is not going to be running which is going to throw a bunch of people off because um, a lot of folks are used to it being, you know, four weekends in March, four weekends in April, and then on to May we go up and harass people at Sherwood and then off and so forth. Um, I know that there is planned to be a Sherwood invasion of, uh, sorry, a Scarborough invasion of Sherwood right before, uh, I think there's a gap day between workshops and in workshops where uh, people can come down and, and play and have fun. I will be not be performing that weekend, but I will be out there visiting. And I'm going to be bringing some stuff to contribute to the big bin of starter kit accoutre crap for uh, up-and-coming Rennies because we have been clearing out our closet. Closets. Storage areas. Storage spaces. Um, it's amazing what being together for 32 years and having spent about 30 of those doing Renaissance festivals will do when it comes to just random crap you can use at fair. It's a lot of it. Rather a lot. But I digress. <laughs> um, let me think here. This, this February, we will also be celebrating our 32nd anniversary. We will have been together. We've known been together for 35 years, known each other for 36 years. Um, Amy and I met. I spent a year attempting to propose to her. 
finally got a ring, proposed to her. We were engaged for three years. We moved to California and got married before we moved so that, because it would make the paperwork easier. Clothing. <laughs> Closets, a.k.a. clothing obulets. Yes, this is where costume goes to hide. Um, uh, I will say right now there's a number of green shirts that are coming. So that'll be fun. I am not getting rid of the doublet of doom. I'm not getting rid of most of my doublets, in fact. I now have three, or f I have four doublets that are like things I will wear. The doublet of doom, of course, the red slash doublet, which I wore for most of my magician career. Uh, the green doublet. Oh, yeah, there's also the brown and gold doublet. Um, those two last two are Zutsus, which is a different creature, but that's all right. But if I'm going to be performing, I'm going to be gaudy. Why? Because, well, look at me, for God's sakes. You know. <sighs> and having said all of that, I think we've come to uh, the moment you've all been waiting for. That's right, the final song in the set this time around. Um, it is, of course, my hit. I have just one hit. I have several close but this is the hit, and justifiably so, because it goes something, only something like this. It finally happened to me, I found someone, I didn't think it could come true. I found me a life companion, so the same thing could happen to you. A man alive together is wonderful. People gonna get serious soon. We really got a good thing going, but it gets real freaking when we hit a full moon. I'm dating a werewolf. Oh, yes, it's true. I'm dating a werewolf. I feel like woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It's like I'm waking a beautiful daydream, y'all. They really have improved my days. I'm still really sorry they found me here. Guess we'll have to see how all this plays. I do all kind of cute things that I adore. This relationship is gonna go far. I mean, I get all squishy when they stick their head out of the window when we're driving my car. I'm dating a werewolf. Oh, yes, it's true. I'm dating a werewolf. I feel like... <laughs> you know, you <laughs> just got so totally lost there. I love it when I actually forget where the hell I am in the song. Trying to figure out where we are. Now I ain't saying the things are perfect here. You know, the challenges will always be there. But we work our way through our problems now. So I usually kind of open up there. I mean, I don't like fighting my partner now. So I learned me this one little trick. Yep, things get angry and we get into a fight. All I gotta do to win is throw a stick. I'm dating the werewolf. Oh, yes, it's true. I'm dating the werewolf. I feel like So now you know the whole darn crazy story here. How my life's just been right upside down. And while it might not seem that my mind's too clear, gotta know that I ain't wearing a frown. I mean, I know that I hit me the jackpot, y'all. That's the reason why I'm singing the song. And although we know it can take a lot of work, not a single little thing is gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, <clears throat> Hairball. I'm dating the werewolf. Oh, yes, it's true. I'm dating the werewolf. I feel like. Come with all the enthusiasm and accuracy of a hyperactive two-month-old golden retriever puppy sliding across the freshly waxed kitchen floor of music and headed directly into the very expensive modern art sculpture made of porcelain and mousetraps that is the Tobias the Adequate Troubadour non-commute show. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Without you there, this would be hard to justify. We will continue to do this just about every week except for when I'm on the road or toast. 
Um, toast may happen more often than on the road these days, but, you know, that's, that's what life is like. Uh, you can, of course, go to theadequate.com for all of your adequacy needs. I'm at theadequate on Twitter, at theadequate on Facebook, and at Tobias the Adequate on Facebook. I am at Tobias the Adequate on TikTok. I am uh, youtube.com slash M-P-L-E-G-A-R-E on YouTube. You can also find that by going to troubadork.com, which shows all the things that I am, com I am uh, in fact, um, linked up to right now. Uh, ay, ay, ay. God, you're magnificent. <laughs> you know, one of these days, we're just going to get it all sorted out, and then they're going to change all the circumstances, and we're just going to get to improvise again. That's really what this is. We are all making this up as we go along. And if I can teach one lesson today, it is that we are all making this up as we go along. And uh, just because somebody talks like they know what they're talking about, don't take that for granted. We've had that backfire on us a few times. Um, my Patreon peeps, of course, that's John, Rob, Brian, Lorene, Relly, Kaylee, BK, Teppo, Isaac, Joe, Jen, Kay, Tim, and Christina. Thank you all for supporting Adequacy in Our Lifetime. Uh, without I will be getting picks. I have first I have to get more picks made because we have fewer picks and I have Patreon peeps right now, which is like cool because that means that a lot of these went during uh, New Braunfels. So I will have a few picks to hand out at Kerrville and then hopefully some more picks to hand out at uh, North Texas and such once Gary, my guy who makes the picks, makes the picks. Uh, Patreon.com slash the adequate. I'm uh, paid, uh, what's it? Uh, PayPal.me slash the adequate. Then was at sign the adequate cash apps. Dollar sign the adequate. My branding is strong. Carpe Diem Comics is, of course, the official emotional support comic shop of Tobias the Adequate and all those things. Pixar does that. Yes, and if I see some blue painted uh, Celtic people, I will give some picks. Some picks. And that's a poem coming. We're going to stop right there. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Be safe. Be sane. Be silly. Fight fire with marshmallows. Uh, trans rights are human rights. Treat people like people, not things. And, you know, when in doubt, be decent, because it confuses the enemies. That's enough out of me. Thank you all for helping me here. You've been wonderful. I have been Tobias the Adequate, and I thank you for encouraging my behavior. Talk to you later next.